11 Hours Beyond the Grave, Brother Benjamin Testimony of Death and Resurrection. I am Benjamin, the event I am going to talk about today took place in the year 2009, I am from the Democratic Republic of Congo, my parent divorced when I was really a child, I was 4 years and my younger brother was 7 months when my parent divorced, my mother left us with my father, she abandoned his husband including her own children. It was tough for my father because he could not go to the field, in the village people live on agriculture, if you don't go to the field you cannot survive, agriculture was the only source of revenue, quickly my father found another woman and they got married, when we were growing up we could not know that this woman was not our biological mother, she was treating us fairly and showing us a lot of love, on the other hand my father decided not to tell us that our real mother already left us. So we grew up knowing that our father's second wife was our biological mother, but it was when this woman delivered her own child that her attitude towards us changed, she started to persecute and abused us, she actually intoxicated our own father to reject us and she was blaming us for all things wrong, and she was locking us in the drawer every time dad was away, but when dad was in the house she was pretending to treat us well but when dad go to the field she would begin to display incredible hate, she would become abusive, they are people who satisfied their soul in abusing other and inflicting pain to other, we were starving in the house of our father, our mother should have never abandoned us in the hand of our father, some time later, our stepmother plotted with the support of a native doctor to accuse me and my brother of witchcraft, as a result our own father chased us out of the house, Despite the fact that we were underage children, the village was outraged by this. Later, we returned home after sleeping rough for a month. While our stepmother was subjecting us to this treatment, she was attending the church, and she was even taking part in prayer retreat. Today, people come to church with their body, but their heart is far from God. The Word of God is no longer changing them. Church has become a routine. In the end, my stepmother decided to kill me and my younger brother she plotted to poison us, I just noticed sudden change of attitude toward us, it was strange, all over sudden she became gentle and kind towards me and my younger brother, beloved you must be careful when your enemy become gentle to you, there is surely a plot behind that kindness, one day my stepmother cooked our favorite food, I felt doubt in my heart before eating that food, but as it was my favorite food I ignored that feeling, so I started to eat that food, I did not even finish eating that food then I began to feel inflammation in my mouth and my stomach, she actually put so much poison in that food that it began to injure my mouth and stomach before I even finished eating it, I ended up in the hospital, initially people thought that this was just one of this sickness, doctor could not diagnose this poison, then I ended up dying in that hospital, when I died I did not know that I was dead. When death process began I noticed that I started to see things, we must understand that death is a process, firstly when the doctor were talking to me I began to hear them as if they were in great distance, despite the fact that they were just inches from me, when the doctor left me, I heard the sound of a vehicle, this vehicle parked at the door of my room instead of parking at the hospital parking lot, I did not know that this was a celestial vehicle. Then I saw people dressed in white coming out of this vehicle, they were dressed in garment of the purest white, this was happening while I was not yet dead, I was seeing this scene unfolding before me while nobody else could see it, afterward, I saw angels that were dressed in white singing song of worship to God, I did not know that I was dealing with the angel of the Lord dispatched by God in order to take me beyond the grave. While the angels of the Lord were singing to the Lord the process of death was running its course in me, I began to feel like my heart was coming out, I said to the doctor, please tell these people who are singing to remove their vehicle and stop singing these song, but the doctor and nurse that surrounded me could not see the celestial vehicle and the angels of the Lord singing song of worship to God around their vehicle, as the process of death was running its course I saw my stepmother chasing me. I mean while I was laying there I saw my stepmother chasing my spirit, when I tried to tell people around all this, they reprimanded me. They said to me that my stepmother is outside, afterward I saw a demonic beast appearing in my hospital room, I was about to shout in order to alert people around me about this demon of hell, when all of a sudden I lost my voice, 
Sometime when people about to die they will begin to see things even demon, but when they want to disclose and say what they are seeing they would lose their voice, this is thanks to the demon around them. These demons would never let them to speak what they are seeing, as the demonic beast approached me I began to make movement in order to fight him, I was trying to put up a fight and battle the demonic monster that came to capture my soul in order to take me to hell, but no one in this hospital could see him except me. When my family saw me fighting against empty space they all tried to stop me, they could not see the monster that I was fighting, I was overcome by this demon, then I felt like cold filling my body, as a result I could no longer move a part of my body, I could see and hear everything happening in my room but I could not move, the demonic beast was on me, at this stage I am not yet dead but the process of death is running its course, while I was paralyzed by this demon something happened. I saw the roof of my hospital bed disappearing, I was wondering what is happening? What is the meaning of this? Then suddenly I saw a radiating and luminescent angel of the Lord descending from heaven, when he reached the altitude of the roof he suspended himself in space, then he pulled a whip and he hit the demonic beast that came to capture my soul, I saw this demon running away, then the angel of the Lord said, Benjamin, your time has come, and I have come to take you we must travel, but while the sparkling angel of the Lord was talking to me I heard the doctor telling my family, close the eyes of Benjamin you cannot leave his eyes opened like that, I did not know that at this stage I was already dead, and the doctor was telling my family to close my eyes, afterward the angel made me sit on the hospital bed, although everybody was seeing my body laying I was sitting on the bed, then the angel of the Lord held my hand and got me to stand up, he actually released my soul from my body, when the angel of God was helping me to stand up from the bed I felt like trembling and shaking, but when I stood on my feet I felt energy and strength, the moment I stood up I realized that I was completely healed from my sickness, I was so amazed that I hugged the angel of the Lord, I said to the angel, thank man for healing me from my sickness, but I failed to realize that my body was still laying on the bed and that it was my spirit that was released from my body, the trembling that I felt was actually the separation between my spirit and my body, when we die and we get separated from the body it's like we are born anew, there is more vitality than when we are in the body, because we are loosed and released from the weakness, from the limit and the pain of the physical body, I was standing there in my hospital room with the angel, then he swiped my eyes with a book that he was holding, as a result I saw people in my hospital room crying, some of them were throwing themselves on the ground in mourning, but I could not understand what was going on, I said to the angel of the Lord, why are these people crying? Would you like to calm them please? The angel replied to me, you can ignore them, but look at your hospital bed where you come from, when I turned around to check my bed which was surrounded by people mourning I was horrified. In fact I saw my body laying on the bed, yet I was standing beside the angel of the Lord, I was in terror, to notice that I was in two different places, as a matter of fact, our physical body is just an envelope, no matter how much you want to satisfy this body it is just an envelope, a cover and a cloth of your spirit, when you die in Christ you will be dressed with a glorified body of light. I was still with the angel of the Lord in my hospital room when I saw my family rolling my body in a loint cloth and taking it out, I tried to touch people but I could not establish physical contact, when the people went out of my bedroom I was left with the angel of the Lord who said to me, now that they are all gone it is time for us to travel. The angel said, Benjamin now you can follow me, I saw the angel walking out of the room before me, and I began to follow him. Then I noticed that my feet was no longer subjected to the law of gravity, I was not touching the ground, then we went out of the hospital, I was still surprised that I was not touching the ground. The angel of the Lord invited me to join him inside the celestial vehicle, the moment I sat inside the heavenly vehicle, I felt a very powerful wind around the vehicle, I don't know where it came from, it could be the wheel of the celestial car, then in the twinkling of an eye, a powerful whirlwind transported us in the air, the vehicle was not moving in horizontal trajectory on the ground, but it performed vertical flight maneuvered to the sky in the speed of light, I did not want to observe the earth because I was intimidated and overwhelmed by the level and degree of the speed of this flying craft, 
The Bible say, as they were going along and talking, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire which separated the two of them, and Elijah went up by a whirlwind to heaven, as we were mounting the pillar of heaven in great speed, I said to the angel of the Lord, where are you taking me like this? Would you please take me back to earth? The angel said, Fear not, I am taking you to the one that sent me to take you. As we were rising in space I began to see astronaut working in the International Space Station, in fact I saw many heavens, the astronaut were working in the first heaven which is the atmosphere, after traveling the space and the galaxy. The angel of the Lord landed his chariot of light on a road in a place beyond the physical universe, I had no idea where we were. The angel said to me, this vehicle cannot go beyond this limit, we no longer need it. Afterward we went out of the celestial car. The angel said, Behold! When I look where the angel was pointing to me, I saw a crossroad, there was one road going to the left and the other road going to the right, but at this crossroad I saw two brightening angels standing there. The angel of the Lord said to me, The two angels you see there are the one that sent me to come and take you. We then began to walk toward the crossroad where the two angels were seating. When we got closer we stopped in a distance or some meters, then my companion angel who were by my side began to talk to one of the angel that was at the crossroad, as they were chatting and discussing, I noticed that they were talking in an unknown angelic language, I was curious and suspicious so I interrupted them, I said to my companion angel, both of you are talking in an unknown language that I cannot understand, what are you planning to do to me? My companion angel replied, Fear not, I am just giving account to my superior about the assignment I was given, which was about transporting you here, then he continues his conversation with the superior angel, afterward I saw the angel that was at the crossroad coming towards us, but I noticed that as he was coming and getting closer, he was getting bigger and bigger, he was really robust and tall, and when he got closer I noticed that my height and that of my companion angel were around his knee. He was far taller, towering and elevated like a building, it is at this point that I realized that I was not dealing with human being but the angel of the Lord, because up to this point I did not know that I was dealing with angels, because I never saw them before, but when I saw the height and length of this angel I realized that I was dealing with angels, in fact all these angels here were the category of angels that deal with the afterlife, and the transport of the soul of believer to heaven, then my companion angel said to me, my task with you is finished, I leave you with my superior who will care for you, I was so intimidated and puzzled by the size of this angel that I said no way, how can you leave me with a man who is as tall as a skyscraper? I said no way, I removed my hand from my companion angel who was holding me, and I began to run away from them, my companion angel was about to stop me from running, but his superior said to him, let him run. As I was running I was checking whether they were following me, but I noticed that they were not running after me, but I continued to run, after some time I saw the celestial vehicle that transported me from the earth, after running long distance I said to myself, as they are not after me let me walk, I was walking not knowing where I was going, after walking some time I was about to turn around to check them, it was at that moment that the towering and colossal angel grabbed me in the speed of light. He grabbed me by his hand like we grabbed a glass of water, this angel was colossal, massive and tall like a building, as I was in his hand I tried hard to release myself from his hand but in vain, I even tried to bite his hand but I came to realize that he was feeling nothing, I was crying and begging him to release me, I was still in the hand of this robust and colossal angel he was moving, after moving for some time I could see that we have reached the end of the road but at the end of this road I saw a big house, when we reach this place we enter inside the house, I noticed that there were three doors inside this house, this tall angel told me to wait for the door to be opened for us, I thought that this was the house of this angel and the three doors were bedroom doors, but that was not the case, after waiting for some time one of the three door was opened, I did not see the person that opened it, dear brother and sister when we enter the door. I saw golden and transparent boulevard, I was able to see my face on the boulevard that seems like a golden and transparent glass, I asked the angel how come this door is leading to this city, 
The angel laughed and said, Benjamin, these doors are not bedroom doors, but they are gateways to heaven and hell, when people died they end up at the crossroad that lead them to heaven or hell. As we were moving on the golden boulevard I heard a noise of multitude, I asked the angel of the Lord, I am hearing a noise like people in the stadium, what is it about? The angel of the Lord said, we are heading to that place of reverberation, you are expected there, where the noise is coming, when we reach the place where the multitude were gathering, I saw people in a place similar to an unending stadium or an amphitheater, I saw a multitude of people, as far as the eye can see, but I could not see the end of this multitude, I notice at the gate new arrival of souls just like me, but in this multitude I saw angels of all kind, angel are of different types and size, most believe I have no idea about the spirit world and the reality of heaven, the heavenly world is populated with different types of entity and angels, they are powerful and the majestic angel that you can never imagine, just like the Lord created different race of people on the earth, I saw different race of angels, I saw different kind of angel, I saw a heavenly angel of incredible appearance, you will not be able to watch them twice, I saw beings that cannot be described with human language, I saw an angel worshipping the Lord who had a body of human but a face of lion, another angel had a face of an eagle, I saw another angel who was like human but having massive winged, I saw an angel with four face another angel had eyes everywhere in his body, I saw another angel worshipping the Lord having two faces, I saw all kind of celestial being, I saw angel glorifying the Lord but having eyes were shining like traffic light, I saw all these things I was overwhelmed, while the multitude was worshipping I noticed that they were facing something like a powerful projector, when I looked this light I was blinded, I mean my eyes could not bear the light, so I removed my eyes from this luminous light because my eye could not bear it, I thought this light was a projector that was for illuminating the area, I failed to understand that the light was coming from the throne of the Lord Jesus Christ who was emitting intense light and glory, then suddenly from the light emanating from the throne a voice resounded. It was a thunderous and explosive voice, as a result the multitude of the redeemed and the myriads of holy angels collapsed on the ground no one could bear that that thunderous and explosive voice, the living creature were on the ground, the elders were on the ground, the myriad of angel and the multitude of saint were on the ground, I also collapsed on the ground, when I woke up I noticed that new arrival like me were on the ground as well, immediately the Lord began to decree instruction and order to the holy angels, then we all stood up again, the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ was addressing the multitude who were silent, I saw the myriad of angel and the redeemed with their head bow, when the Lord was addressing the multitude, I could not understand what the Lord was saying because this was in heavenly language, the power and the glory of the voice of the Lord was unbearable and too heavy for me, I could not bear the weight of glory, and the electric charge in this place was too much for a mortal man like me, as I could not bear this glory I turned around to check the tall and robust angel that brought me here, so that he can take me out. To my surprise I saw this huge angel on the ground, just like the myriad of angel, humanity has no idea about Jesus Christ, we are not dealing with a man but the creator himself, as we were on the ground I saw two powerful and shining angel, they were very well dressed in comparison to others, they had a pot containing water, and they were sprinkling the multitude saint and the myriad of angel that collapsed on the ground, I was wondering and saying what is this? Why are these angels sprinkling water on people, when these angels reached me they sprinkled water on me, when that water was sprinkled on me I noticed that the fear and panic that was in me disappeared, I felt an incredible peace, immediately my ears opened and I began to understand the language of heaven and everything that the Lord Jesus Christ was saying, God has a language, the closer we get to him the more we understand his language. When my ears opened I could hear the Lord giving orders and instruction to the angels in a thunderous voice, he was ordering them to transport each and every one of the new arrival to their place in heaven, every time the Lord gave orders, I saw two or three angels arriving, they were taking the newly arrived soul and transporting him in heaven, when it was my turn I noted that the Lord dealt with me differently, I heard the Lord saying to his angel, this is not the time for my son Benjamin to come here, 
you're going to return him to earth. I came to understand that there is a time set for every man on earth. I heard the Lord saying to his angel, I am returning Benjamin so that the world would know that I am God. I am above poison and all the power of the earth. Since I heard these words from the Lord I do not fear any man on this earth, whether he is a Satanist or a witch or elevated in authority. The third thing I heard the Lord saying to his angel is this, I am returning Benjamin because I want to demonstrate to the world that their breath of life is in my hand, I have the power to take their breath and to return it, I have power over their life, the Lord said again, you will not just return Benjamin like that, you will show him things that he will tell the world, immediately I saw four angels landing around me, they rose me up, one of them said to me, Benjamin. You heard the order and instruction of the Lord, we have to show you hidden mystery that you shall reveal to the church and the world, later we landed in the house where I saw three doors, when the angel opened the second door, immediately they placed me in the middle, I asked them why did you place me in the middle, the angel said to me, things that you will see here are horrendous and fearful, many on earth know nothing about it, you will reveal and tell the church what you see here we will show you the one who is tormenting the earth and humanity, we want you to get an insight about the devil, his world and his strategy so that you can tell the church, when we enter that doorway, the angel of the Lord made me visit the world of Lucifer, there were actually seven world in the kingdom of Lucifer, I visited the seven world of the devil, I noticed that in the seven world of the devil he is regarded as God, just like we treat Jesus Christ on earth, actually the devil is God in his universe. The angel of the Lord told me that the devil dwell in the seventh world, that is why prayer of the believer does not reach him there, because these prayer of the church face opposition from the first world and the second world, after visiting the seven world of the devil. The angel of the Lord said to me, now it is the time to visit heaven, I said, I thought we visited heaven already. The angel said, that was the boundary of the celestial world, the borderland, a place of reception of a new arrival in the heavenly world, but now we must visit the city, when I heard about going to heaven I was excited I had a great feeling, then we traveled to the boundary of heaven, the angel said to me Benjamin what do you see, when I looked I saw a massive wall, this was not in bricks or terrestrial material, the wall was made of jasper, and the city itself of pure gold, as pure as glass, the foundations of the city walls were adorned with every kind of precious stone, the first foundation was jasper, the second sapphire, the third chalcedony, I could not see its beginning or its end, then I saw a gate, the angel of the Lord said to me, this is one of the gate of the eternal city, in fact I was shown the twelve gate of the city by the angel of the Lord, I was explained that when believer land at the boundary of heaven they do not enter the kingdom at the same gate, each gate of the celestial kingdom represents specific virtue and specific dedication and fruit of the spirit or good deeds, souls winners will enter in their specific gate, intercessor will enter in their gate, I was shown gate of pastors and ministers, after visiting the twelve gate of the city, we approached one of the gate in order to enter, it's then I saw four fiery flaming and sparking swords in front of the gate that was releasing flames of fire. The angel of the Lord said to me that the fiery sword is there to prevent the enemy of God people which is the devil, this sword is there also to prevent those who are not worthy from accessing the holy city, those who practice sin will be stopped from breaching the gate of heaven by the fiery sword, this sword will make way when a worthy believer turn up but it will explode and release fire when a believer that practiced sin turned up in order to stop him, when we approached the gate the fiery sword I noticed that the four fiery swords made way for us, then we enter inside the wall of the kingdom of God, the moment we enter the gate I noticed that my body changed, my appearance changed I was dressed with a glorified body and garment of a brightening light, once we were inside the enclosure I saw another angel who received us, he was dressed differently from the two angels who were accompanying me, the two angels said to me, Benjamin our duty to you is finished, this fellow angel will help you visit the eternal city, then they disappeared, then my new companion angel held my hand and we began to move, then we arrived on a mountain top, then the angel asked me, Benjamin what are you seeing? 
As I was observing I noticed that we were in the outskirt of the celestial city, we had a mountain top view, but when I watched I saw the city that was illuminated by an intense light I was blown away by the scene before me, every time I think about that city I don't want to have anything to do with this passing world and its pleasure, I still retain in my memory some images of this city, I am a missionary I have been in America, in Europe and the world but the city I am talking to you about is beyond your human understanding and imagination, when I saw the celestial city I could not contain myself, I was so overwhelmed by joy that I had tears flowing on my cheeks, I was so emotional, let me tell you that what I saw has changed my view of the world, there is nothing that can impress me in this world anymore, the only purpose of the things of these world is for evangelism and soul winning, just imagine a city built by God himself, a city whose architect and builder is the Lord himself, he said I will go prepare for you a place, but this city was not yet inhabited, there is nobody in the city although the construction is finished, I was told by the angel of the Lord that this city is constructed for those who will overcome the flesh, the devil and the world, the city is the new Jerusalem, the city of the Overoma, I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem prepared as a bride adorned for her husband, and I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man, and he will live with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God, he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the former things have passed away. When we were visiting the borough, quarter and houses of the city, I noticed that on each property there was the name of the owner at the gate, dear's brother and sister life on earth offer believers opportunity and possibility to work, to amass and accumulate the riches and wealth of the kingdom of heaven, do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and, and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal, for where your treasure is, the your heart will be also, I will never be impressed by the things of this world again, I understand why the Bible do not love the world and the things that are in it, because in New Jerusalem we will be walking on transparent and heavenly diamond and gold I could see my face and my image on the ground reflected in the pavement which seems like a transparent gold, I grew up in eastern Congo where there are many mineral, the diamond is the mineral that shine more than other, yet the diamond that I saw in heaven is not terrestrial it's heavenly, the city was built with celestial material, as we were walking on the boulevard of gold, I said to the angel, this is a valuable precious stone, why is it neglected, my companion angel said, the overcomer will walk on diamond and gold in heaven, that which is value on earth will be their pavement here, beloved, I saw gold and diamond used as construction material in heaven, my father is a miner therefore I know the value of precious stones and mineral, when I saw precious stones like gold and diamond depreciated in heaven I complained, I said to the angels, why should we walk on valuable and precious stones like gold and diamond, the angels laughed at me, they say that which is valuable on earth is depreciated here, beloved since I saw the diamond and golden city I do not mind dying poor, whatever I get is only for evangelism, there is diamond and gold waiting for us in heaven, then we proceed to the new city, I saw apartment and block that seems like palace or villa, they had number on them, these villa do not belong to family because salvation is individual, each redeemed has a house in the new city, even if you live in a modest house during your life on earth, through God's service, good deeds and dedication, if you can fight and overcome the flesh, the world and the devil, then you will have for yourself a palace and property in the new Jerusalem if you can exercise hospitality, you will have a house equipped with good furniture, because the process of becoming big in eternal age is much more here than in heaven, I mean the possibility of advancement is much more on earth, that is why the Lord said store up for yourself treasures in heaven, after visiting the news Jerusalem the angel of the Lord said let us visit the temple of God, we were now leaving the new Jerusalem and we were heading to the heavenly temple, 
When we enter the celestial temple I saw myriads and myriads of angels, the temple of God was vibrating with noises and the sound of trumpet, on top of the multitude of the redeemed and the myriads of angels, the first category of angels that I saw had trumpet hard on their hand, and they were sounding their hard and trumpet these were really noisy. These angels don't sing they just sound trumpets and the sound of their trumpet is a perfume smell before God. The second category of angels that I saw had were just worshipping the Lord, they were repeating the movement that Muslim do in their mosque, when the angels were sounding their harp and trumpet the myriads of angels and the multitude of the saint were lifting their hand and bowing with their face touching the ground, the companion angel said to me, Benjamin what you see is the secret of heaven, I was told that worship and praise are main activity in heaven and when we die we will join the myriads of angels in the cycle of praise and worship, some will join those who are sounding the harp and trumpet and some will join those who are kneeling and raising their hand, I noticed that the angels of the Lord were raising their trumpet and harp and putting it down continually, and the worshipper were kneeling face down and raising their hand, the companion angel said, people who are kneeling and worshipping are facing the greatness and the glory of God, that is why they are lifting his throne with the movement of their hand, the worship service in the heavenly temple is different from our church service on earth, where we ask for the forgiveness of the sin, we intercede for others, we ask for the power of the Holy Spirit, these prayers is related to our Adamic nature, but in heaven it's the sound of harp and the song of worship and praise that matter. I was told that there is a mystery in worship and praise that the church on earth is failing to grasp, if only praise and worship become our lifestyle and an everyday activity many of our problem will be resolved. Without making petition to God, we should praise and worship, more than casting devil, because the Lord delight in praise and worship of his people, you can cause change in your life through a life of praise and worship. The angel of the Lord underlined that spiritual warfare can be won through praise and worship, not just taking authority and casting out demons, the Bible say, about midnight Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the other prisoners were listening to them, suddenly a strong earthquake shook the foundations of the prison, at once all the doors flew open, and everyone's chains came loose, singing to the Lord's song of praise and worship can break our chains, then the angel of the Lord said, Benjamin, you can see myriads of angel and multitude of saint praising the Lord, it is time for you to get closer and see the one that is worshipped, once we got closer to the throne I saw Piop, they seems to have been living for thousands of years yet they were dressed with youth and immortality, I was told that these people were the elders, when I looked around the throne I saw scary and terrifying beast, the first beast had the face of a lion, the second had the face of eagle, the third had the face of lamb, and the fourth had the face of man, all together with the twenty-four elders they were worshipping the Lord. The temple was flamboyant and noisy, my companion angel said to me, Benjamin look in the middle of the four living creatures and the twenty-four elders, when I look in the middle of the four living creature and the twenty-four elders I saw four white veil covering, my companion angel said. Inside that veil there is the one that is worship and praised by the myriad of angels and the innumerable multitude of the saint, as I was observing I saw two angels stepping forward in order to remove covering or the veil. The moment the two angels held the white veil in order to open it, there was a shaking, there was a powerful wind. There was thunderous explosion and detonation, as a result the two angels collapsed on the ground. The elders also collapsed on the ground and the four living creatures collapse on the ground, the angels that were sounding their harp were on the ground including the myriad of angel and the multitude of the redeemed that were bowing, while everybody was on the ground loud thunder and detonation continue, then there was a silence in heaven, in that silence I heard a powerful and explosive voice like a thunder reverberating in the middle of the throne. The courts of the heavenly temple were rattled and shaken by a continuous shaking, then I heard a voice saying holy holy holy, the companion angel said to me, Benjamin behold the one that is worthy to receive honor, glory, power and praise, when I look I saw a throne suspended in space, I could not understand which force was supporting the throne that was suspended in space, I could not see the body of the one seating on the throne, it was shining like the sun.
I could not see the face of the one seating on the throne because of the intensity of light but his garment were like the sun, I was crying and overwhelmed with emotion while beholding this terrifying scene unfolding before me, the companion angel said, Benjamin, this is the one who is worthy of your praise and worshipped, this is the one who took flesh and blood and visited you on earth, this is the one who died and who overcame, beside him there is no other god. The Bible say I am the first and the last, the living one. I was dead, and behold, now I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and of Hades, for a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and the government will rest on his shoulders, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. I was watching the Lord God on the throne when I saw massive books on his left and his right they were massive, the angels said, these books contains the names of the living and the deads and their actions since the time of Adam, the book on the left contained the name of the lost, and the book on the right contained the name of those who are saved, this is the book of life, those who have rejected the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the boastful pride of life. The angel said to me, the record in these books are often updated. When an unbeliever come to Christ his name is removed from the book of condemnation and is written in the book of life, when a Christian commit a sin and he fail to confess his sins, his name will be erased from the book of life, and written in the book of condemnation, but the moment he confess his name will be written again in the book of life, beloved, it is central and imperative to confess your sins when you have fallen, please do not wait to do it later because your eternity is at stake. Then the angel showed me a book beneath the throne of the Lord it was massive, this was the book of remembrance, which contained your deed, your service and everything you do for the kingdom of heaven, all your sacrifice and your dedication, every seed you saw is written here, the companion angel said to me Benjamin this book of remembrance is a major factor in terms of God response for prayer, there are times when people pray the Lord would open the book of remembrance, if he sees your deeds and service, this will cause him to accelerate his response, but in case he sees nothing he will make use of his sovereignty, when you are asking something to the Lord you can remind him of your seeds, your deeds and service for his kingdom, you need to do memorable things for the Lord that you can remind him in prayer, and he respond quickly to this kind of prayer, the Bible say, then those who feared the Lord spoke to one another, and the Lord gave attention and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for those who fear the Lord and who esteem his name, before returning me to earth, I was taken back to the amphitheater that was similar to a stadium, where there were millions of redeemed souls and myriads of angel before the throne, when we arrived before the throne, the Lord said to his angel, before returning Benjamin you have to show him the condition of the place of his assignment, immediately I saw a group of angel coming toward me with a pot containing water, but I noticed that this water was dirty, one of the angel of the Lord asked me to drink that water, but I refuses because the water seems dirty. But the angel was insisting, I opposed him. The angel of the Lord began to pressure me and push me by force, this became a physical contest between me and him, immediately the voice of the Lord Jesus Christ reverberated, the Lord asked me? Benjamin. What is the problem, I said, Lord. This water is dirty, but this angel want to force me to drink this water by force, when I spoke like this. The angels that was around began to laugh, the Lord said to me, Benjamin do you know why my children are laughing? My angel, are laughing because what is inside the pot is not water, the message is that where I am sending you there are people attending the church, whose appearance is similar to the shining pot containing water but their inside is not different from this dirty water in the pot, but from outside they are shining, if a human like you find this water unbearable what am I supposed to do to these people, let me tell you children of God, the Lord is expecting you to clean your inside and your heart, woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, you clean the outside of the cup and dish, but inside they are full of greed and self-indulgence. Blind Pharisee first clean the inside of the cup and dish, so that the outside may become clean as well. Then the angel of the Lord removed water from the shining pot, immediately I saw flies in the pot. 
The angel of the Lord asked me to count the number of the flies in the pot, I counted all of them. The including the three that flew away, the angel of God said to me, If a simple man like you can count you have to understand that the Lord God know each and every one of the billions of human on planet earth, he knows precisely who is what, who belong to him and who does not belong to him, go tell the world, even if you think you are billion. The one who sent you on earth know with precision each man living on earth and minimal details of his life, then the angel said to me, Benjamin, if I give you this bar, can you break this pot? I replied, I can break it even with my beard hand, I saw the angels laughing, then the angel said, Benjamin, this pot is not a pot, just think about the earth, this is how the Lord and the heaven perceive the earth, just like this pot, the Lord can destroy it just like that. The angel said to me, you go tell the world everything you have seen we will support you, it is time for you to return to earth. When I was told to return to earth I began protesting and I was fighting and stopping the angel of the Lord from returning me to earth, as I was resisting the colossal and tall angel that I saw in the beginning showed up, he was bigger like a building, my height was around his knee, I could not fight him, he said to me Benjamin, you remember when I was bringing you here, you were biting me and refusing, but now you do not want return to earth. Later we went out through the gateway leading us back to the house where there were three gates, we were joined by a number of fifteen angels dressed in shining white, I was told that these angels were medical specialists, they are here to deal with my body and organs that were destroyed by poison, the fifteen angels came to deal with my health and administer treatment to me, these were doctors and specialists of human body, they were supposed to administer treatment on my body before I returned to earth because I died from poison, I had to undergo treatment from these specialists, among them there was an angel who was supposed to deal with my intelligence and my brain, another angel was supposed to restore my speech, two angels were supposed to replace internal organs destroyed by the poison, when these angelic doctor began to perform more administer treatment on me I was wide awake, no seductive, I could see them cutting organ and system in my body and replacing them with new organ and new system, I came to discover that we have doctors and medical specialists in heaven, when we pray for healing the Lord is in his disposal angels having medical skills and knowledge of human body, I saw the angel of God the removing my intestine which was destroyed by the poison and replacing it with new intestine, through divine healing angels perform surgical operation behind the scene although we never seen them. I saw the angel sorting my speech and my intelligence, when they finished they said to me, Benjamin the work you have to do on earth is big, you will meet people of all kind, we are giving you this cup containing blood, which is the key, after performing the operation on me the angels left, then the tall angel said to me, Benjamin let wait a little bit, then we will continue our journey, but it was while we were waiting inside this building where there was three gateways that my body was taken to the cemetery on the earth for the burial ceremony, and I was effectively buried when I and the angel were seating and relaxing in this building, as we were seating here, I noticed that the angel of the Lord was looking to the palm of his hand, he seems uncomfortable but he refused to tell me what was wrong, actually the angel of the Lord was watching people on earth burying my body in the cemetery, he was watching this on the palm of his hand, Afterward we left this building in which were three doors leading to heaven, hell and the seven world of the devil, when we arrived at the crossroads I saw this angel conversing with his fellow angel about me, they were discussing about the fact that my body was buried on the earth, I heard the angel of the Lord saying, since they have buried his body we are working for nothing, I had the impression from their dialogue that my body should not have been buried, it was a serious conversation and they seem overwhelmed, beloved any situation happening in your life the last word belonged to the Lord, these were just angels, they were in wonder but the Lord had the last word, when the debate ended I noticed that the body language of the angel of the Lord was different, he was not comfortable he was unsure and worry, then we boarded the celestial vehicle we were headed to earth, we were moving in incredible speed so I closed my eyes because the speed was too much, as we were descending to the region of the to earth I opened my eyes, I was able to see my village, it was like when we are on a plane that was about to land, I saw my village and all the house, but I noticed the absence of people, 
When we landed the angel asked me to walk, we got off the heavenly chariot of light and we started to walk in the village, in fact we were actually walking in the cemetery. The angel of God replaced the image of our cemetery with the image of my neighborhood. He did not want me to see that we were in the cemetery, he knew that I would be asking him why we were in the cemetery, because I was not grasping the fact that I was dead. As we were walking in my neighborhood we enter my house, he told me, Benjamin, whatever you saw do not hide tell the world, and keep the keys that was handed to you, then the angel of the Lord disappeared, when I entered my bedroom to my surprise I woke up, as if I was sleeping, I thought I was dreaming then I woke up, but I failed to realize that I was in the coffin, I began to tell my brother Charlie about the dream I had but as I was talking I realized that Charlie was not responding, I wanted to check him so I tried to move him maybe he was sleeping, to my surprise I hit the wall, I was about to move when I hit the wall again, I wanted to move my head but I bumped my head on the side of the coffin, I began to wonder where am I, I thought maybe my stepmother has locked me in the drawer, so I began to call my stepmother so that she will open for me, I was pressuring the drawer in order to get the attention, but the more I was doing that I began to feel the lack of air and oxygen, I began to breath with difficulty, I thought that ten more minutes in that coffin I would die, because I could not breath, had the Lord Jesus failed to intervene I would have die again, and I would not have been able to tell the story, I exercised pressure in order to open, but I began to feel my eyes pumping, I was exhausted, I was actually fighting death again, finally I was exhausted after all my effort failed, then I gave up, at that very moment I saw a star of light shining in the coffin, I was afraid and I wonder what is this? I was panicking, immediately the star disappeared, while the star disappeared in the coffin, outside it caused a tremor particularly around my tombstone which were destroyed, as a result my coffin became visible, this tremor happened when a family was visiting the tomb of their parent, they were arranging the tombstone of their parent, it was at that time that they began to hear someone knocking on a particular coffin that was visible, when they saw my coffin they ran to the village, in this village I and my brothers were known as witches, when my father and the village's people came to the cemetery they complain, they said this is all about witchcraft, my father told people to ignore all this, he said this is a confirmation his son was in witchcraft, but there was a man of God that opposed him. He made it clear that he is not convinced that this is all about witchcraft, young people said to the pastor, we are dealing with a witch, what is it that you want to do, the pastor said, we must check in order to determine what is that is making the noise in that coffin, the village people did not want to have anything to do with that, the pastor was about to dig when his wife opposed him and said to him, this is not your business if only that pastor ever listened to his wife I would have died because I could not breath properly, men of God must learn to listen to the Holy Spirit, while the pastor was digging others volunteers to help him, and as they were digging I began to knock the coffin harder, but when they all heard the knock they jumped out of the hall, when the villager that stood outside the cemetery saw the pastor and young men that were helping running away, they scatter and ran away, in fact the pastor was hiding in the bush, after some time the village people came to tell him that the tomb cannot be left like that. He has to cover it because he is the one that dug it. When the pastor returned to my tomb I could hear him praying and casting away the spirit of death and the spirit of cemetery. I thought my mother invited some people at home and they were praying. After casting away the spirit of cemetery, the pastor noticed that the coffin was moving. This time around he took courage. He removed the sand around the coffin and he pulled my coffin, when I felt that I was lifted up I began to knock more, the pastor could not bear it he threw my coffin out of the tomb hole, as the place was a bit mountainous my coffin began to roll, it could not open because it was glue, in the meantime I began to vomit because I felt nausea, I was vomiting the poisonous food of my stepmother, I even vomit my intestine, I have photos for evidence. I told you that angelic doctor replaced many of my internal organ which were destroyed by poisoned with new organ, later the, the pastor introduced his fingers in the coffin in order to remove the cover and to see what was making noise, when I noticed that my coffin cover was moving, I said you are me making suffer and I pushed the cover with all my strength, as a result the pastor fell on the ground, 
When village people saw the pastor falling they panicked and they ran away, then I quickly moved out of the coffin, I was covered with blood that I vomited inside the coffin, so when the pastor saw me covered with blood he was paralyzed with fear, he began to cry, finally he got the strength and ran away, at that moment I realized that I was standing inside a coffin, I began to wonder what am I doing in the coffin and in the cemetery, I shouted to the crowds to wait for me but they all ran to the forest, then I went home. But I noticed that the whole village was vacated, I saw food and I began to eat, people were hiding and observing me by far, while I was eating they rushed to capture me and they chained me, these people as far as they were concerned I was witch, because my stepmother was accusing me of witchcraft, and all these was a confirmation of my witchcraft. These people were about to kill me when the Lord perform a miracle, actually a known dumb man spoke and told them to stop what they were about to do, when they saw a dumb man speaking they scatter again, it was then the Catholic priest were informed about things happening in my village, these priests came and they took me to the parish, I was still in chains, after interrogation they came to realize that they were dealing a Lazarus story 